Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a topic video on five favorite spider heroes. The person who recommended this was Tevia Smoka, so if you want to go check out their channel, in the description below there is a link. And if you guys have any future recommendations for topic videos, please let me know in the comments below, because I double dose my topic videos. Usually for Comic Uno, I have them every Friday with my comic book reviews, and for Comic Frontline, I have them every Sunday. So be sure to recommend away, and again, if I answer them, I will uh, post it uh, on either of those channels. Uh, but let's start talking about this topic, which is top five spider heroes. So since this is a top five, um, I'll be going five to one, so I'm going backwards, because, uh, you know, making the number one a big reveal. All right, so this is my number five. Number five is Miles Morales. Now, this is a character I've been reading since the beginning, since his first appearance in Ultimate Fallout, issue four. Um, it was a character I was very excited to read even before I knew he was Miles Morales. And then, you know, over the years, you've seen him grow as a hero, as a young adult and it's really exciting and, and Bendis has done such a great job with the character and it's kind of cool that he's in the regular universe now. Hopefully we'll see his other friends still um, in the secret in the 616 universe because that's something I've always enjoyed about his character too is Gonky and, and, and Jessica Drew and all his supporting characters. Um, but he's a fun character who's again just grown a lot throughout the years and it's been fun to see him grow. So number four is actually another Ultimate Universe character, which is Jessica Drew, uh, the Ultimate Jessica Drew, so Ultimate Spider-Woman, Ultimate Scarlet Spider, or Ultimate Black Widow, now she's called. Uh, but yeah, I've enjoyed this character because she's so different. Uh, she was the clone of Peter Parker, the female clone, and that's bring, bringing in a lot of interesting story. Um, all, you know, one being her sexuality, because she she was the clone of Peter, so you get to s discover more about her sexuality, which I thought was very interesting. Um, also, just more of this emotional stuff of her being a clone, and it, am I real, am I not real, you know, what do I do with my life, uh, and really just her discovering her identity a lot more. So that's been a fun ride with Jessica Drew, and that's why I really hope we get to see her uh, more, even though after the Secret Wars events, Ultimate Universe is over, it'd be kind of cool to still see her, because she's been a really cool character that's uh, been around for years, but just keeps developing um, into an uh, even more awesome character. So that's my number four pick. Number three is a new character who I enjoyed. I am wearing her shirt, uh, Spider-Gwen. Uh, I love this character because she's a character that should have just lasted one issue, um, but she grew such a large fan base um, and has such an interesting story that she's become one of the most popular heroes from Marvel and in comics these days. Uh, and I love her character because it just... it makes a character who, who died pretty much because of a uh, woman in refrigerators, you know, just for guy pain, she died uh, for the sake of Spider-Man. And then she comes back to be the hero and to be, again, a fan favorite uh, and become one of these bigger heroes of the Marvel Universe. And she's such a fun character because she's, you know, a drummer. She's a, a, a normal young adult, which, uh, you know, all these spider heroes are always about is being normal and grounded, but then also being the, the spider person who believes in responsibility, and, and Gwen believes in responsibility for different reasons, you know, she didn't have Uncle Ben die, she had Peter who died, she, you know, Peter had Gwen who died, and Gwen had Peter who died, uh, and then she also had this responsibility, not, obviously not because of Uncle Ben, but because of her own father, who believed in injustice, and is still around, thank God, um, but... Yeah, it's just been a really fun ride, and I, I can't wait to see more of Spider-Gwen, uh, because she's just been a, a really cool character that's defined herself uh, in so many ways. Uh, and yeah, Gwen Stacy's awesome, so that is number three. Number two is the Spider-Man himself, Peter Parker. Yes, he is number two. Um, he's been a character I've read since I was a kid. You know, I've been reading his book for a really long time. If you look at my long boxes, I just have like three long boxes full of Spider-Man stories. Um, I've been collecting Amazing Spider-Man since I think like the issue 400s. Uh, and then of course I have a lot of the older issues, but I've been reading every issue since issue 400s. And uh, yeah, you know, Peter, he's the definition of a hero. You know, he's this grounded hero, um, this grounded person who tries to balance his life. Um, then then also he's trying to be a hero. He's trying to be a, a real superhero and be that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And then he's gone through a lot of personal things that has 
you know, force him to go into responsibility even more. Um, he has the old Parker luck, but at the same time, I mean, depending on what story you're reading, he also has a lot of good things surrounding him also. So, uh, yeah, Peter Parker is my number two. So, of course, number one is no secret. It's Mayday Parker. She's my favorite hero of all time, and of course she's going to be my number one spider hero. Uh, I love May, because she, she also brings exactly what the spider hero is about, um, but she brings her own personality to it, because she is very much the daughter of not just Peter, but Mary Jane also. She's popular. Um, she deals with situations in, in different ways. She's not as, you know, not snarky, but she doesn't joke around as much, but of course she still has her, her father's sense of humor at the same time. Uh, and then, you know, I've said this many times, what I like about her character is that she's very much about redemption. She's redeemed a lot of villains. Uh, her Green Goblin, Kane, I mean, the list goes on how many characters she's redeemed. Um, but also she's very hard on herself that she can't really redeem herself. Um, at least it takes a while. If she makes a mistake, she's very hard on herself. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy her character because she might not be the strongest spider person on this list, uh, but she'll try her goddamn hardest to be the strongest hero she can and to save the world. So that's why she's my favorite spider hero, but all five of these heroes are awesome, and there's even more spider heroes I wish I could put on the list, but it's only a top five. But uh, I love, you know, the spider universe, and this is a really fun list to put together. So if you guys enjoyed this is comic, you know, let me know in the comments below what, who are your favorite spider people. Uh, and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.